it's been a couple days since Minnesota, obviously. We don't want to rehash that game and whatnot, but just what's kind of the, the feeling right now after the exit, the end of the playoff run, the, the end of the season? I mean, I, th- I think it was you, or um, or it might have been a Mecca, one of you said on Saturday it just felt really early, so does it still kind of feel like it's a little too early? Yeah, I think it's... Um definitely a huge disappointment uh, for such a talented group we had such a, a good year um, and with the players that we had uh, we certainly should have been uh, still in this playoff run and uh, had a real chance at it with that being said have you been able to kind of take maybe an hour or two or something in the past couple of days to reflect on what this year was because there was a lot of good to go along with maybe a couple of lows but but it does feel like this team did accomplish something pretty significant yeah, I think uh, I, I I just feel like we could have done more. I thought it was really solid, but we didn't really accomplish anything besides setting a new record for most points, but that didn't really get us anything. Um, kind of got us a Champions League spot, so I guess that's something uh, positive to look forward to. But, uh, yeah, ro- lost the Rocky Mountain Cup, did nothing in, in League's Cup, lost the first round of playoffs, so. Pretty, uh, pretty tough end to the season, I'd say. Uh, looking ahead to that Champions Cup spot, just what is that carrot of continental competition mean for a player in MLS, for a club in MLS, just to be able to go out? And I know Champions Cup's a little bit different from Champions League, probably the last time you were in it and whatnot, but, but does that give a little bit of an extra incentive, extra motivation going into next year for some of these guys that'll be back? I hope so. Yeah, it should be a lot of motivation to one know that we've got to have a really sh- good start to our preseason and be ready because the competition is going to start fast and you're obviously playing against uh, the best clubs in Concacaf at, at the very beginning. So we'll have to be ready and and fit and uh, should be a good start to our campaign for next year in hopes of you know winning more tr- winning a trophy. I think I read somewhere, and I didn't double check this because math wasn't ever my strong suit, but it's something only like a hundred days between where your guys' season ended and and then when, because of Champions Cup and all that, when that starts up, is that exciting? I mean, what does kind of your off season look like when you do have a little bit more of a condensed? Feels like it gets shorter and shorter every year, but this year probably more so than ever. I don't know. This seems like the one of the longer ones for me um, in recent years. Um, so, yeah, I would say it's too long. Um, I, w- I wish we were at it sooner, to be honest. Um, but uh, hopefully it gives uh, everyone enough time to get healthy and get fit and, like I said, have a strong start to the, the year next year. Mm-hmm. Zach, uh, thanks for your time. Obviously, confidence is key uh, at your position playing goalkeeper, and I know you have a good relationship with Gavin, but how difficult was it for you to, to kind of, I mean, Last year, you were, you were playing practically the whole season. How, how difficult was it for you to kind of have to trade off so many games with him? Yeah, extremely difficult. Um, nothing I'd have really gone through in my career. Um, and while I guess it was planned for most of the games, uh, it didn't make it easier in terms of keeping form and finding a rhythm. And I certainly struggled through that uh, during that period. And... Um, you know, there's nothing I could really do about it except for try to find my rhythm again. And obviously I found it here in the last few weeks, but uh, I wish that I could have kept it and kept it going those games. And, you know, it would have been one of those seasons that had I played every game, you know, what what would have it looked like. You mentioned some of the struggles that you had at certain points of the season, um, watching, watching Gavin play in goal and then coming back at the end of the season. How were you able to gain your confidence back and and really played so well um, in the playoffs and the last few games of the regular season? I just uh, kind of just switched my mentality a bit and kind of went with a FU attitude a bit um, and just really tried to own in on, you know, if this is the last five games or whatever it is, um, to make it mine and, and make a statement about, you know, maybe not playing me in the other games. So that was kind of just a, my motivation for it. Thanks, Zach. Yep. Um, does that does the possibility of something like that happening again, where you have to alternate games, does that make you uh, maybe kind of second guess 
your position in relation to, to this team and uh, your, your, your place going forward? I don't know. It doesn't make me second guess it. Uh, I'm sure when we have our meetings with the front office and the coaches, uh, hopefully they'll have an idea of what that looks like last year or next year and um, kind of have to ponder it after, you know, seeing what they, what they would, what it looks like for them. So. And then if you could uh, just kind of sum up this, this season in one word, what word would you choose? Um, one word to sum up the season. Underwhelming. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, Zach. Yep. Thanks, guys. Zach, appreciate you, man. Yeah.